Oh, welcome back to Cigar Time. How's that? <laughs> welcome back, back to the old uh, yeah, the intro. Old intro. Yeah. I thought every, go. Go. every week you were like going to change it up. We missed it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need, miss it. I like to change it. You, you need to write us, email us, send a carrier pigeon, and tell us which intro you like the best, because it's important. Where should they email us? Email us at the Murray Hill Station. Uh, well, I don't How know. CCCigars.com. That sounds like Spell our website. That out. Well, and they can drop us a letter through to the where? website. And where, where is that again? There's a button on there that says send us an email. But well, what's the address again? CCCigars.com. Did you get that? How do you spell that? Do you need another second? <laughs> you need another, I had to think about it. Do you need it. another second to get a pencil and paper to write it down? That's CCCigars.com. You spelled it all by yourself? I did. I'm impressed. I you did. Spelled dot com. I read the I'm dictionary. Impressed. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> D-O-T com. <laughs> yeah, type that in. Yeah, yeah. Now. <laughs> well, uh, let me try to regain control of the show. Yeah, Good luck. That's too late. I know. Late. It's too late for that. No uh, welcome to A.J. Fernandez Month. Right? Diggity. Yes, yeah. it is. I thought Latano. it was San Latano month. Oh, San Latano. Well, that Same is A.J. Fernandez. Yeah, that's why I asked you. Oh, wait a minute. He just wants to check. Doesn't A.J. Fernandez make San Latano? Yes. yes. I like does. A.J. Fernandez month. And isn't, isn't uh, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't San Latano available at almost every retail store in the area? I believe it is. Yes. yes it, yeah. well, Hopefully. It should be. If it's it's not, even in it's Montana. Not, yeah. it's well, we hope. in all nine cigar cigar it's stores. It's in Montana. all nine of our stores, Shame but we hope, <laughs> we hope right. if you don't live near one of our stores, we hope that you will go to your local tobacconist and support him with your sales and use of his lounge and, you know, this is this is a business that needs your retail support. Yes, we appreciate don't. it. That's well, your local merchant, I'm sure, will appreciate it as well. So without further ado, we'll let the lovely Miss T tell us all about our cigar for today. Our cigar today is made by AJ Fernandez. It's called the New World. The wrapper, the binder, and the filler are all Nicaraguan, so it's a Nicaraguan puro. Yeah. The sizes are Bellicoso, Gordo, Toro, and a Robusto. So pretty much the standard sizes. Uh, the taste profile is... Um, Earth, espresso, sweet, and spice. Just want to point out that this was made, this cigar was made by him and his dad, Isamil, 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 Ismael <laughs> Fernandez. And the cigar was actually was named movie. after Christopher <laughs> Columbus. <laughs> Hello, Christopher Columbus, and for, for, um, for the discovery of the New World in 1492. So what you guys nice. do you when there? I... Do you wait, know that wait. that actually happened? Max was. You must comment on the band. Oh, well, first else. it has uh -oh. two bands, a foot band and a regular band. Is it just a regular band? Yeah. Like waistband? No, it's, it's not a waistband. <laughs> 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 no, the band is gorgeous. Um, it's the picture of when Christopher Columbus first came to the New World and I guess meeting with the Indians, right? The Spanish Indians. Yep. So. He stood there and posed for this picture. But he got down Did on one really? knee and said, thank <laughs> God Did he you're really? <laughs> No, not really. <laughs> Hmm? What's going on with it? <laughs> oh, that was good. Operate Again, here. we are cutting and lighting our cigars with the Zycar Cutter and Lighter, the official sponsor. What kind is for, that? For uh, Cigar Time TV. Huh? What kind of Zycar? Zycar, the Illum Lighter. The Illum oh, Lighter. I can't make my cigar roll. You know, I've been lighting cigars with this lighter press. for the better part of a month, and it finally just ran out of fuel. Really? No, I already it lit lasts mine. a long I time. Mine. The I rubbed two, two really twists does. together and got a flame. Nice. I lit, I lit, it's very I good. I think it's because it goes all the way up here. Yeah, I think. Even it, though you can't see it, the it fuel goes tag all is the, it's unbelievable. It's very big. It's, it's very big. big. And this is a very popular price. And if I'm correct me if I'm wrong again, which rarely happens. But well, don't these come with a lifetime guarantee? They do. Well, that is guy car now, is it your lifetime? lifetime suppose you like give it to a You relative. can will it to someone, yes. Yes, absolutely. So this could theoretically be hundreds of years. And could be. Not like a lot of other companies. They 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 know if they know it's their lighter. You don't have to have the receipt. That's you can find one in the street and send it back. And that's because it says Zycar on it. Yeah, but so that's, it's what you're saying. We should start hanging outside cigar shops, hoping somebody will drop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or yeah. Pick, or pick their pocket. Do not attempt this at home. I've, yeah. I've seen people try. Like like they're like, oh, this thing's far five years old. I'm gonna throw it out. I'm like, no, no, no. send it back. <laughs> send it back. That's how I get a lot of my lighters. People say this this lighter doesn't work. I don't, want, I don't want it anymore. He can just throw it out. So I take it, I go, okay, and I fix it, and that's how I get my lips. 
Do you, around, do you go around <laughs> to the backs of restaurants late at night? I do not. And dumpster dives for food. <laughs> I do not do that. <laughs> no. Diving for dumpsters. <laughs> I do not do that. No. Okay. All right. So let's get, now that we've all had a couple of draws on it, what, uh, what's your initial impression? Um, earthy, very rich. Um, not a lot of spice yet, but I'm cheating because I have had this cigar before. Um, actually, I, I do feel a little bit on the roof of my mouth. Um, mm. And it actually should be noted that San Lotano was actually, it is an old Cuban brand that, right. that yes. his mm -hmm. grandfather started in uh, San Lotano. no Lake. longer produced in Cuba. Correct, correct. In San Luis. San, yeah. Yes, exactly. San Luis. Yo, Luis. I like this. Uh, well, I'm not supposed to say that. I'm just supposed to no. give you some initial comments. Yeah, you're the expert. I think the wrapper is gorgeous. We just um, show up and look pretty. You're the expert. Oh, boy. Uh, Rob and I do, at least. There's, there's <laughs> a lot of flavor right away, and it's just what they say it is. It's earthy. <clears throat> it's a little sweet. It has some coffee notes and the beginnings of spice within the first quarter inch. Hey, I didn't even read that. I got it right. <laughs> I agree with Paul. When you first light it up, you do get a lot of earth, and now within, what, the first quarter inch of smoking it, you start to taste the spice, definitely. The wrapper is definitely gorgeous, and I love it because it's box pressed. I'm actually, it's interesting, I'm actually feeling the spice more than Oh, I just want to point out that it's from that all sense. four points. It's from um, Untempe, Condega, Jalapa, and um, uh, Esteli. So, Esteli. Yes, Esteli. And she did that with no notes. She yeah, knows no that. Notes. I love that. So, I, so all yeah. that tobacco. To, I mean, it's just gonna. It's gonna be a really good treat. This cigar. So. I agree. I agree with Paul. Also, um, I'm definitely getting the coffee notes. Um, not so much sweetness yet, but um, I'm just a quarter inch in. So, just thinking we'll from the finish. As for me, I'm not getting so much of the earth. But I'm definitely getting espresso or coffee. Yeah, yeah definitely. It is definitely a sweet finish. I'm getting a little spice in the first part of my tongue. Definitely. No, not heavy. It's no, right no, 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 not it's heavy right at all. It's right on the front of the tongue. Very, very pleasant. Right here. It's interesting because I'm not, I'm not <laughs> getting it there yet. I'm, I I'm feel not it getting the, it the roof of my mouth. Yeah. No, I, it's funny. I feel it on the base. I feel uh, it. Yeah, right here, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting exactly. it through, yeah. through the rest of my mouth. <laughs> I, I want to yeah. talk about this wrapper for a second. All right. Because feel free. As, aside from it being beautiful, when they defined the cigar, you know, they say there's there's uh, Lejero from Ometepe, and yeah. there's the, they define the wrapper as dark Nicaraguan, and that's all they say about it. Well, that's not really a good description. Well, well, no, I don't think it's enough. So it's yeah. a, and they won't tell you. It's a bit of a mystery, but oh, that's right. They talking won't tell you what the wrapper is talking yeah. amongst ourselves. Yeah, we know. It. We've reached the conclusion that this wrapper is uh, Habana 2000 from Nicaragua. Mm. And those of you that remember Habana 2000 might not remember it fondly because when it came yeah. out about oh, 12 years ago, terrible. Yeah. Uh, there were huge burn issues and people really didn't know how to, how to work with that tobacco. My, my assessment is AJ figured it out and he got his hands on some nice old oh, Habana yeah. 2000, fermented it some more and really got it to work. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think it works. It's burning beautifully. Yep. I mean, it's, it's very, perfect. very Actually, yeah. toothy. It had burn it's, issues. It's beautiful. It's fixed it it yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm, it, my guess is this is this is it's not a inexpensive cigar. <laughs> well, I think you'd be surprised. I think you'd be surprised. Really? It is. Very surprised. All right, well, let's save well, that for the review. it's not inexpensive, but it's affordable. Let's save it for this, the review. This wrapper looks like it has flecks of, like the like Cameroon wrappers have. If you look at it very closely. It's sparkly. Right, exactly, yeah. Well, I think it's in some tooth. I think yeah, it's time awesome. for uh, Paul to come in from the fields and give us a, uh, a splendid rendition of some subject. Of something or other. Something um, or other. You know, we've talked about plume, some people call it bloom, uh, and mold. Uh, we've talked about it before. Yeah. But people never seem to get, get it straight, and we still get people afraid of whether they've got it right or whether they've got it wrong. And I, you will enlighten us. Well, I think of it as the great plume mold debate. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, before I show you some plume, which we found, um, I wanted to explain again exactly what it is. All of the flavor in tobacco comes from oils that occur naturally in the leaf. 
as a cigar, a finished cigar ages, some of those oils rise to the surface of the wrapper and over time they begin to crystallize. So what you get is a sparkly little crystal deposit in different areas on the surface of the cigar. Uh, that is also a clue. A cigar will never taste better than when it's pluming because all the flavor is right there for you to taste. Um, the problem with plume is that people think it looks like mold yeah. and nobody likes a moldy cigar at all. So how do you tell the difference? I wanted to show you and we'll give you a close-up of this. Uh, we'll superimpose that at some point, but there's plume all over this cigar and the way you can tell that this is plume and not mold is A, it's sparkly, B, it's white and nothing but white, and it doesn't look like hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mold, on the other hand, doesn't sparkle. It looks more fuzzy than crystalline. It can be green or it can be brown. It's sometimes a little bit white. But the other thing about mold is because it's growing on the tobacco, it won't wipe right off. Mm -hmm. Plume, if you just slide your finger across it, comes right off. But you don't really want to wipe it off. What you want to do is smoke it Smoking, up. Yeah. Um, I did want to show you a cigar with mold <laughs> on it just for close-up comparison. But given that we're at Cigar Cigars, we don't have moldy cigars <laughs> we, around we, here. <laughs> we actually Believe looked. He looked we tried, we, we, we we tried hunted, to find some. We, yeah, so we tried I, to find what I'm going to do them. before the show airs, I'm going to go to some other store. <laughs> and, and find a moldy cigar far, far for you, away. and and we'll just give you a side by side comparison, nope. so you really understand the difference. Well, well, it Paul, won't be another cigar cigar store, though. Yeah, Paul, no, absolutely. Paul, not. I'm hoping that no matter what tobacconist you go to, that's not one of our stores. I'm hoping you won't find any mold. Well, you never want to. No, no, no. And no good tobacconist who oversees his inventory well is going to have moldy cigars unless his humidity is, is out of whack or Maybe something. Maybe I'll go to one yeah. of the mail order places. Oh! Uh, uh, instead, uh, instead of a brick and mortar. Would that bring a smile to your face? Uh, yeah, it would bring a smile uh, to all of our faces. Come on. We went to a mail order and found all sorts of mold. It wouldn't no, be surprising. No, that's they sure. probably don't have moldy cigars either. No, but, you know, let's, let's hope not. What's interesting is I, we normally, there are certain cigars we know that get a lot of plume, the Avo number two being one of those. So when, when uh, customers have that cigar, we'll, a lot of times we'll take it out and show them because it's one thing to be proactive and tell somebody what plume is and show that it's on the cigar. If they bring that cigar back thinking it's mold, then it's kind of like you're in a defensive position and they're right. like, yeah, yeah right, buddy. <laughs> you know, you know I, I have a story about that. When I was more involved on the manufacturing side and not in the stores, um, I had a sales rep out in the Midwest, your favorite guy. Ah, Victor Charlie. Victor Charlie. Victor Great Charlie. name. Victor and Charlie. Um, I shipped him a whole bunch of one of my most popular cigars and then I flew into town to travel with him to some accounts and visit the stores. And he said, I have a trunk full of cigars I have to give back to you. And I said, why? And he said, well, you look. And he opened up the trunk and we opened up a box. The cigars were magas, actually. And there was plume all over them. Hmm. And he said, I don't know what this white crap is all <laughs> over your cigars, oh but it's no good. And I, said, and I explained to him what it was. And I said to him, I'll tell you what, if there is any retailer who wants to give back cigars that have that white crap on it, I'll take them all. Because, of course, it's the best thing. We should surcharge yeah. for plume. That's you know, why, you know why, the Avo, yeah. why the Avo in the tube has so much plume? There's two reasons. What's that? One, we insist upon buying them at least 10 years old. Our standing order at the factory is 10-year-old Avos. And two, I believe, and you can pontificate on this. Oh, boy. I can't spell it, but I can say it. Okay. Don't they become more apt to plume when they're sealed in a vacuum tube? When they're in a tube, because the cigar doesn't breathe right. at all, oil just evaporates. It, it, yeah. it crystallizes. Yeah, there are tubes are more likely. There are certain to other develop. cigars that, that we do the same thing with the uh, the Romeo Churchill yeah. um, com that comes in a tube. Right. A lot mm -hmm. of times. In fact, when we were looking for plume, we went we went to those first, and then we went to the Avos to find them. Well, back in the day, about, uh, oh my God, 50-some years ago, when I first started smoking, 
I used to, there was a cigar retailer and wholesaler in the middle of Philadelphia, it's no longer there, long time gone. And I would go in there on a, on a Saturday or something, try to find a young clerk, because I was, I don't even say how old I was. And I would look amongst the cigars. Now in those days, there were still Cubans allowed in this country. You know, whatever stock was in the country were allowed to be sold off. But in okay. those days, the manufacturers so aged the cigars <laughs> a lot longer, and you were more apt to get some cigars uh, in a pluming in a pluming mold mold mode mode. I, I knew. Thank you for the help. So I would I would I would grab a couple of them. And in those days, we're talking fifty seventy five cents a piece, and I would try to find a young clerk in the store, and I would go over and I would say, uh, "Can I buy these at half price? They're all moldy." <laughs> <laughs> and if I got somebody that actually knew something, they would laugh at me and say, nice try, or actually explain to me, like we just did, what the plume actually is. But every once in a while, I would get somebody, yeah, sure, we'll give them to you for 35 cents a piece. So 50, 75 cents wasn't cheap enough, you had to get them. Well, I knew about cigars at an early thing? age, and I knew what plume was. <laughs> 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 I said, is that where your frugalness comes in? It's not a matter of being frugal. frugal it's a matter of taking advantage <laughs> of the science of cigars and using it using to my it financial to benefit. benefit. There you go. That's I cheap. agree. I was 15, 16, 17 years old. That's that was before I love laws. How it ranges. 15, 16, 17, uh, when 13, is, 14. When does frugal and cheap <laughs> differ? Well, it's cheap? the same word. No, cheap it's, means, no. no it's the cheap, same word. Cheap, oh, boy. No, cheap means we have this when argument. the check is about to come to the table, you get up and go to the men's room. Yeah. Frugal is you use a coupon to buy your shredded wheat. They don't sell cereal. Cheap with, and frugal no, are the same me, thing. They are absolutely, they are absolutely not. The same no, thing. We've had cheap this argument for years. Cheap is not wanting to spend money, and frugal is wanting to spend it smartly. Wisely. Smartly, right, wisely. Yes. Because if you don't buy your cheese. cereal with a coupon, you're it's way cheap. overpaying because there's an expectation in he supermarkets all cereals with coupon. coupon. Who? What's that? You. What's I that? I don't know what a coupon exactly. is. Exactly. He wouldn't be caught with a coupon. <laughs> Speaking of coupons, and this is important, yeah. folks. Somebody called in yesterday and wanted to know if they could get 15% off their first visit to the store if they didn't have a coupon. Coupon. Yeah. Coupon. To bring it in. It depends on you whether you're from Brooklyn. You say potato, I say potato. Anyway, no Q and the answer to that is no Q. That's true. Uh, anyway, the way you get 15% off on your next visit to Cigar Cigar is to go to our website, which again is cccigars.com, and send us your email and we will send you a 15% off coupon that you can use. Right. Or a if you haven't already signed or up. You, or a coupon if you're lucky. That's great. Yeah, and yeah. you could just bring it in on your smartphone and yeah. just pull yeah, it up. Absolutely. And At this point in the program, we're going to cut away. We have an interview with a few of us. Uh, Robbie from A.J. Fernandez. I think you'll find it very uh, educational and informative. And we'll be right back. We're here with uh, Robbie Streitz, who's the national sales manager for... Uh, AJ Fernandez, thanks for coming in, Robbie. Paul, it's a pleasure to be here with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, why don't you tell us first a little bit about your history in the cigar business, how you came to be at uh, AJ's, and what that's all about? Absolutely. Um, thanks for asking, by the way. Uh, I started out, I did a cigar radio show in Tampa for about three or four years. It was called Cigar Robbie Radio. And uh, that was very successful for me because I got to rope, produce, sell my own show. It was a brokered station, but I went on six different states uh, throughout the Southeast. Excellent. And we had about 10 or 11 sponsors at one time. And if anybody knows anything about selling sponsorships, 10 is quite a bit. It was quite a bit for a one-man oper operation. Absolutely. But it would, went very well, and I did a lot of promotions with cigar guys in the industry. And then I started as a rep and then I started as a uh, national sales manager for another cigar company. And are, then are we allowed to know who that is or do we want to leave them off? Somewhere? We'll leave those off. Okay. We don't have to talk about the past. It's someone that most people know though. Okay. And uh, then I took a job with AJ Fernandez uh, in June of this year. So um, I knew in my career where I wanted to go with this mm -hmm. and a company like AJ Fernandez San Latano, the way 
we produce a cigar, how we go from box or seed to box. Well, uh, why don't you talk about sure. that a little bit? Sure. Um, so there's I have to interrupt you. Absolutely. If I don't light a cigar in the next thirty seconds, let's light. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill myself. Okay. And so anybody who watches <laughs> this show knows that that's true. Paul, as I watch some of your other clips, I know you like to smoke cigars on your show. I like to smoke cigars as long as I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always a good thing. And he's smoking right now our San Latino Bull, which is our Ecuadorian Sumatra. It, it comes in a 10-count box, four different sizes. A beautiful box. I love this cigar. This is a great cigar. This is probably one of our... It's if, if it's not full to full plus, it's somewhere in between, if there is a such of a thing. <laughs> 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 but it's a great cigar, and I'm going to light it up uh, with you when you're done. I'm good. And as we talked about seed to box, there's not many companies, I would say, in this industry that actually do seed to box. There's a lot of cigar brands out there, but very few do seed to box, especially growing their own tobacco, growing their own wrappers, aging their own tobacco, and coming out with select cigars. Well, so many of the uh, more boutique brands, other than yours, uh, have other people make stuff for them. That's correct. And you are the exact opposite of that. We are. We're the exa That's absolutely correct, Paul. We are the exact opposite, but we still are a boutique. So that w that's what sets us aside or makes us unique in this industry. We're still relatively young as a company. Uh, with four or five years into this. That's it. Basically in the retail arm. Uh, four or five years, and we're growing tobacco, growing wrapper, and producing our own cigars, which is amazing. It really is amazing. That is fantastic. Yeah. And it, it, it sets it off in the quality. And not only the quality of the cigar, because we control our production, but we can get a cigar to the marketplace or the end user for more of an affordable price than someone else can do the same cigar if they have to go through, let's say, a, a private label or a middleman. Now, AJ Fernandez did a lot of private label for other people before you really got up and running with the San Latano line, is that correct? Yes. Um, you could say that there's a couple ways to get started in this industry. If you're going to be a blender or make cigars, you're either going to work for somebody for a long period of time, or you're going to have a small production run, you're going to make cigars for other people. It's kind of how he got his start. Um, I think personally, just personally, that's probably the best way to do it. Um, you're not working for somebody else, but you're actually honing your own tobacco, your own skills, putting your name on that tobacco as it goes out to the end marketplace. And building a reputation before you launch a brand of your own. Absolutely. Which Absolutely. I, which I think you did a great job of. Now, if I did my homework correctly, A.J. Fernandez started with only six rollers? Well, you did your homework correctly. Okay. There was a time we had six rollers, but Abdel started when it was just himself as a roller and then worked up to six. Now, I'm going to cut you short. Absolutely. We got to take a break. We got to take a break. Thank you very much, Thanks, Robbie. Robbie. Thanks, Robbie. Hey, that was Yeah, cool. that was great. That was awesome. Yeah, I learned a lot about A.J. Fernandez. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I think it's time for us to uh, review the cigar. I'll go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, um... You said sweetness on the finish. Oh, definitely. I'm definitely getting spice mm -hmm. on the finish, which is interesting. Um, when I first started smoking it, I, I got a little bit of the spice. Definitely moving into the middle, I got a lot of spice. It was definitely in the back of my mouth. Now it's kind of just settling on the middle, which is nice. Um, I would definitely pair this cigar with a Knob Creek. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yes, it has nuts, vanilla, and oak, and I think that would pair nicely with these flavors with the espresso and the sweet spice. Um, I think they complement one another, and um, because of the robo the robust, the, ro the robust, robust. the robust, robust <laughs> I'm like art right now, the robust mature what? flavors. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think that was very nice. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate that. Of You're the bourbon, her. definitely. <laughs> Give her the hook. Definitely compliment the cigar. So. Speaking nice. of compliments, you have a really nice ash. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Should I stand up and show it right now? <laughs> Rob, Rob we, need to, we need to speed this up a little, Rob. Wow. Um, this cigar is absolutely as advertised. I'm definitely getting the, um, the espresso, the earth taste, the sweetness on 
um, on the on the back end of it, and I'm definitely getting spice through the retro hail. I'm not getting it uh, in my palate, like on my tongue, but when I retro hail yeah. it, I'm definitely getting the spice. I think it's a pretty complex cigar. Yeah, it is, especially for the price. I mean, well, the we'll price. Well, we'll get to that. Yeah, Scott? it's incredible. It's simply a, everybody said it already. It's a fantastic cigar. It is. Um, very, very well constructed, um, box pressed. Um, I definitely get the espresso. I'm definitely getting the earthiness. I don't get as much spice as everybody else, which is odd because just through the retro hell. Just a little bit through the retro hell. I have had the cigar on many, many occasions before, and I have had the spice in it, but I'm just it not mellows this out. This one it reason. mellowed out really fast, but it was there. It Paul, was there for go. a while. We gotta go. Um, I love this cigar. It does everything that a cigar should do. It's complex. It's interesting. It draws perfectly. Mm -hmm. It cranks yeah, it draws out perfect. the smoke. And we'll come back to price because there's a, a I happy can't, surprise. I can't add anything to this, but Rob, how much are these? They are, I don't know the exact price, but they're between 5 and $6. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we yep. need to put a number on this, and we need to do it in a... Nine. Oh, Paul? Wow. Eight, seven, five. Do you? Eight and a half. Rob? I agree with T, eight and a half. I give it eight seventy five. It's a great cigar. It's fantastic. And, uh, and, and, and at that price, at five and change, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's great. Now and all this month, month, all this month, we're running events in our AJ stores, Sanders. and we're offering. What are we offering, Scott? Um, we're gonna go with a buy five get one free. Can't we do a little better than that? <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> up you. Come on. All right, buy buy four get one free. No, let's buy five and get two free. I like that. Yeah, I like All right, that. that's a good deal. Buy five, buy all 20, month long. You buy 20, a box or assorted, you get four free. Eight. Eight free. Eight, eight free. Eight. Let's go with eight. It's my frugal. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, exactly. that's your cheapness. <laughs> I'm frugal, not cheap. And just like every, you know, you're used to this, we have events coming up this weekend um, in Fraser from 12 to 3 this Thursday. Uh, then we go to Ludwig's Corner from 4 to 7, same Thursday. Friday, right here in, Colm or in Horsham from 12 to 3. <laughs> Wish and then. Dreaming. What's that? No. <laughs> we're still thinking, yeah, then we're going to go to Colmar, the real event store. Oh. Oh. From 5 to 8. Oh, gotcha. And then on Monday, don't forget, uh, this coming Monday is Monday Night Football. We're going to have a big shindig in our Westchester store, and we're going to have specials and stuff with San Latano from 6 to 10. And um, Stay tuned for your that's emails. There's a whole fun. lot more stuff coming up. Cool. Westchester event. Oh. Month. And that's not just on this cigar. It's on all of oh, yeah. all, 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 all San Latano. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Sad to say, we've arrived at that time. Wow, wow that's quick. fast. I mean, it's, it's this, this show. I, I, I think we ought to talk to the it. station about getting an hour. An hour show. We need an hour. That'd be good. The time to say then goodbye. Then I can really pontificate. Hi, Mom. Yeah. Life's too short to smoke cheap cigars. Or frugal <coughs> ones. <laughs> <laughs> good. Hey, guys, smoke often and smoke happy. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Bye-bye for now. Smoke sweet. What about Dad? We, well, I always say Dad, so now it's Mom. Hopefully she watches. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao for now, everybody. Or mom and dad. Thank you very, very much for watching. We appreciate your business. And live and be well. We'll see you all next week. Thank you. <laughs>